get on to the gifts because I have a ton. Okay, so cute gifts under $50. Number one I have on my list is the Bobble Bar Custom Hair Clip. I love this so much. Um, I really wanted to get some for my sister for her birthday. I ended up getting her something else just because it was gonna take a little too long to get, have it made. But it comes in a million different colors and aesthetics and I will put pictures of it right here. And I think it's just a cute little stocking stuffer, especially for someone who dresses a little quirky or, has, or who has more of a bold style and at least they'll never lose it. I mean, it has their name on it, right? So it's a thoughtful gift without being too uh, intimate. So I like that one a lot. All right, next is one of my favorites. It is a cryo roller. I use this almost every day and not just for my face, like, I use it when I have a headache, I use it when I have allergies and my eyes are puffy. It is just such a godsend. My only tip is once you take it out of the freezer, um, put it on a paper towel and let it sit for about five minutes. You don't want to put it on your face like immediately just because it's like a little too cold. For me anyway, that's what I do, so fun tip for that. But other than that, such a great buy. I use it all the time. I like take it out in the morning, and when I'm in the car, I'm just like, yes. <laughs> All right, number three, um, Dossier Fragrances. Now, I like this a lot because it's only like $29, and they do a lot of sort of dupes or replicas of some of your favorite brands. And they'll even say like, you know, this is like Flower Bomb, or this is like, you know, um, whatever fragrance that you use that is actually like three or four hundred dollars, but this is only twenty nine. That's a good one. Okay, so this is more of a me thing because I just love tea. These are called tea uh, tea drops, and they're just like compact little shapes. They have like flowers and hearts and things like that, and you just drop it in like some hot water and just good to go. I almost every night before I go to bed. They just like, you know, I am such a night owl. I will stay up until four in the morning if you let me. But I really need to like, I have to actively force myself to be like, okay, you're winding down now. Stop thinking about work. Stop thinking about that report. You can do it tomorrow. Don't You don't need to stress about it. You don't need to think about that weird moment that you had 10 years ago. <laughs> Whatever my brain decides to keep me up with that night, you know, it's just a great way to kind of like relax for a minute. I definitely see a cup of tea as like just a five minute like spa session. All right, next is a cold brew maker. I got this on Amazon just because, yeah, it's expensive to get a latte every morning, especially when it's a Starbucks inside of your building or healthy. I have to like, I don't spend like, you know, $11 every morning at the Starbucks. <sighs> so what I try to do is um, make some cold brew because so my boyfriend does, uh, he's more of a pour over French press kind of guy. And I am an ice latte girl, rain or shine, you know, 100 degrees or negative 40, I will still always and forever have an ice latte. And you know, regular coffee just wasn't it, wasn't doing it for me. I needed something stronger, so this cold brew maker was great. I also bring it to work. Um, I used to bring it to work, and I would just like make a batch on Friday and leave it to brew all weekend, so that Monday I would have some strong ass coffee. And it was. Mm. Uh, next is a vanity. I don't really do a ton with my makeup. I'm pretty boring with my makeup. I do like eyeliner and falsies and like aquaphor on my lips. And I, a lot of times I don't even wear foundation anymore. Now I've just been kind of playing around with my makeup because I'm like, I have this makeup, like why not? A vanity mirror would be great for that. So, you know, just to get ready, just to make sure that you're not getting ready in the dark and you don't look crazy. Yeah. Cute little vanity mirror. So next is, oh, okay, serving trays. This is for the hostess in your life, the hostess with the Moses, the girl or guy that loves to throw parties. Um, Society Six 
has a ton of really cute serving trays. I will put some of them up right here. They are just so artsy. They're something for everyone's aesthetic. And they have a ton of other products too. I've gotten some nice like wall murals and just some general art or even like, um, I think I've gotten a laptop sleeve ones from there. So cool. A lot of really interesting stuff there. So check them out. And yeah, okay. So next is this, oh, this was a fun find. Um, it is a water bottle with a speaker. Like the cap is a little speaker. So for those of you that like to, you know, hang out at the park, go for a picnic and, you know, just relax, turn on some tunes while you're stretching or having a glass of wine at your picnic. I used to have a ton of picnics when I lived in New York. I love just laying out there. That was like the most outdoorsy thing I could ever do. <laughs> just cause I'm so, I'm not really athletic. So that's, that's probably the most I can do as far as outdoors. <laughs> have a glass of wine on some grass. But this is a fun gift. All right, um, oh, and subscription boxes. A lot of subscription boxes do give like a gift box for the holidays where you can just buy one month and you're not gonna be charged or you're not committed to any amount of months just to, you know, if you wanna take it out of your hands and be like, you know what, like, I'm not really sure what to get this person, but I know they're into makeup or they're into fashion. There's a subscription box for everything now. There's one for men, there's one for women, there's one for beer, wine, music, vinyls, anything and everything you can think of. If you're not super sure on like, if you're not super knowledgeable about like what your acquaintance or your friend is interested in and you wanna get them a gift, a subscription box, like a gift box of that subscription is a great idea because they do all the research, they curate this box for you and boom, done. You're amazing, you're thoughtful. Next. Um, oh, okay. I love truffle and popcorn. Uh, is this something that I buy for myself on a daily basis? No, because it's a little pricey, which is why this is a perfect stocking stuffer gift. Truffle popcorn. It is like 20 bucks and you're like, mm, yeah, why would you? That, that seems like, that's like, I don't know, four Starbucks. <laughs> That's 20 tacos. That's, or 10 tacos, really. So that's a lot. I, yeah, I'm still the type of person that thinks of money in it, in terms of tacos. So that's a lot of tacos. And, uh, but as a gift, I'm not gonna buy this for myself, but if I get it, I will enjoy it. All right, next. Oh, okay, this is probably better for more of a friend, less of an acquaintance. This is the Cloudy Melatonin Diffuser. For those of you that are night owls like myself, those of us that have thrown off their sleeping pattern and just their general life pattern because of quarantine, I've noticed I need some help sleeping because I don't have my usual routine anymore. And this could be a nice gift for someone. Um, just a little diffuser and I think you kind of like it's, it's almost like a vape pen but it's all natural it's just melatonin nothing crazy um something out of the box I've never seen this on anyone's like gift list but I think it's a good gift especially nowadays everyone needs a little time to relax because of all the craziness that's happening okay next Okay, this is kind of cool. This is probably not something that you would give to an acquaintance, but it is a good thing to give to a friend. It's a little bit personal, it's customizable. This is a custom vinyl record print. You can get this on Etsy. You can have um, you know, the lyrics that you want printed out on it. You can even have their name and who it's from on it. Like very, very personal. This is even a great gift for like a significant other. You know, it's not about the money. It's about the thought. It's about what your gift says. And this is something that is like, hey, I know you, I think about you and I, like really appreciate you and I appreciate your interest and I hope that they show So, great gift. Doesn't need to be expensive, just needs to be, has the right sentiment. 
and I think this has a really nice. Um, and the next one, DIY guitar picks. I really like this a lot because uh, for those of you that have musicians in your life, it's a little daunting to, um, you know, get them a gift because number one, that is an expensive hobby. My boyfriend is into music. He's actually practicing with some of his friends right now. Um, and yeah, I don't know the first thing about guitars. I don't know the first thing about what to buy a musician, but I know that he needs and has certain things. And a guitar pick and a DIY sort of like, hey, you can make your own, it's kind of a cute little gift. It shows like, it shows that I see you, it shows that I support your hobby, it shows that I support your endeavors, and you know, um, I was thinking of you and I thought you would like this. Now, some of the packets have kind of weird straps, like some, I don't like some of the aesthetics on this. So you can always buy just like a separate uh, thing of the straps to punch into. Super, super cheap. Um, I mean, it's an extra 15 bucks on top of your 26. Still a great gift, still very, like budget friendly and uh thoughtful. Okay, next. I have been seeing this everywhere and I know you have too. <sighs> you know what, it's probably just me and my stupid algorithm. I probably just clicked on it because I thought it was funny. But one of those, buying one of your friends lord or lady title. It costs $49.95. You buy one square foot of land in Scotland and you are legally called a lord or a lady. And uh, yeah, now you can give that <laughs> to one of your friends as a fun little gag gift to be like, now you are a lord. So I thought that was a quirky little gift. Um, if you're giving it to maybe a family member or something, maybe get them something a little extra on the side. Uh, Cause I, I see that it's more of like an inside joke or like a gag gift or something like that, but it's still kind of quirky and fun. and. And I've actually read about some people who have changed their names on like their credit cards or or their um, government issued IDs to say Lord or Lady and they've gotten like bumped up to first class or like, you know, a nicer table at a restaurant. And I was like, oh, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think that there would actually be perks. And I'm like, huh. I don't know, but maybe. So, fun gift to think about. Okay, this is for the women in your life who are always a little bit chilly. I have this shirt and it is a godsend. It is a life changer, okay? Uh, this is, the, I call it like, I call it my blanket shirt. It's very stretchy. It feels like a, I'll show it to you guys. It is a fitted shirt. But look at the inside. It is like a soft blanket. Amazing. Okay, um, so in New York, whenever it's really insane and really cold, um, you know, you everyone has those like big puffy 40 and below jackets. Like I have mine up from Macage. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have like I think the trend was like uh, Canada Goose at the time, where it was like 40 below puffy jackets. You can't wear that much under that jacket. And so wearing layers underneath is kind of a no-no. It's better to wear something just like sort of long sleeve and fitted versus something, versus like a shirt and then a sweater underneath that shirt. So that was always my great go-to. And now I just use it in LA for whenever it's like, chilly but I don't really want to wear a jacket or my jacket is not really a functional jacket it's just more for looks like those like really I have a ton of really thin bomber jackets that don't really keep you warm they're just for looks <laughs> so I like to layer that shirt with um, things like that but they also come in pants the pants just as good very comfortable works well in boots and a lot and the best thing about it is that like Whenever it's windy, those things are just like, they block that wind. You are just, it's just your body heat next to that blanket and that is it. 
and it's like it's so so comfortable i bought this for like a um sort of that office sweater whenever it's really cold i sit kind of under a vent so it gets very cold even during the summer and i need something to kind of like just keep me warm um i get the most of it just pointing directly at me so i'm freezing but everyone feels fine so they can't like turn it down for me so i just bring a sweater and this is perfect it's fluffy great layering piece I love it so much so cheap just on Amazon and it's still really very stylish so I highly recommend it next is a mug warmer if you're like me and you like to kind of babysit your coffee and your drinks um, I usually like to drink an iced coffee so this is more for my tea yeah iced coffee warm is not the same as hot coffee and hot coffee you know cool down is not the same as a nice coffee they just don't taste right <laughs> if they're not their intended temperature so if you're picky and weird like me this is a perfect gift all right next is oh reusable bags now that everyone is trying to be a little bit more uh conscious of the environment and you have to pay for bags these uh i've been getting into the habit of like bringing reusable bags with me everywhere i like these um little bagu bags they just fold really compactly and i can put them in a compartment into my purse or my backpack um or leave a couple in the car and like they're not they're still very stylish so um and that's always a plus for me and uh yeah they're great and um fun little stocking stuffer next and last in the 50 and under category is a neck massager um uh, as I get older, every time I wake up, I'm just like, did I run a marathon? Did I sleep there? Did I work out? Like, why do I feel like this? I, <laughs> I don't know, but I frequently need and want a massage. And I also don't like people touching me. <laughs> so this is a great alternative for people like that or for people that just don't want to spend a ton of money on going out to get massages get them a nice little neck massager. Just five minutes when you get home from work. So good, just to relax, unwind, everyone will be quiet, and just leave me alone with my neck massager. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, next we're getting into the $100 realm. These are one of my favorite PJs. They're by Aberj. I actually bought this for my friends, uh, sister-in-laws and like, you know, relatives and family. I did a lot of my friends like shopping too for Christmas. And let me tell you that when I got this as a gift for people, they usually call me and say like, hey, I want this in every color. I will pay for it. Thank you for bringing this into my life. <laughs> They are just so soft and I wear these specific pajamas every time. I know I'm not like, I wear them to bed all the time, but I also specifically bring them whenever I know I'm not gonna be sleeping in my bed and I'm going out to a hotel or, or like, you know, um, going out with my boyfriend's family and I'm gonna be spending the night over there. Um, just because it's like, they look so chic, so put together and I get compliments on them all the time. They're like, oh my God, like, why are those pajamas so dressy and so cute? And I'm like, I know, right? So good. You're gonna get so much bang for your buck. These are amazing cost per wear wise. Like you're never gonna take them off, especially during quarantine. Probably you're gonna be there. Probably wear them all day, every day. <laughs> I was kind of like weirded out that I liked this so much, but my boss actually got me a rag and bone mask. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Okay, he actually got me two of them, but here is one and it's $55. I know, kind of insane, right? But it is literally the best, best, most comfortable mask that I own. I, um, so I think the reason is that this little V right here, gives you enough room to be able to like talk and move your mouth and and not have the mask like move up and down. I don't know if you can see from the side, but it creates this shape. 
it doesn't like press up against your mouth. So it's just so comfortable. It's it's really the best one. It, it doesn't like suffocate you every time you like inhale a little too hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Totally worth it. No one would probably, most people will not spend this much money on themselves. So it's a great little, hey, we have to do this. Let's all be safe. You know, and here's a way to do it and like still feel comfortable and it's very stylish. I also have a gingham one, which I really like a lot, but I like this denim one just cause it has black inside. And I've noticed that I have been wearing like lipstick more and I know, right? Like who's that for? Me, that's who. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'll get the inside dirty and it's a lot easier to clean, a little less forgiving if it's black on the inside. Okay, so ragged boat mask. Worth it, my product. But the person who is like, oh my god, I hate masks. They're super annoying. You know what else is annoying? Dying. Get them one of these masks. <laughs> okay, next is uh, for your friends that love to travel. Or just, you know, people that should, that you've traveled with before that just need a little organization. Uh, packing cubes. These are so great for women's clothes. I mean, they're great for anybody's clothes, but. I like to say women's clothes specifically just because um, men's clothes can fit like fold in a nice clean square whereas like our stuff comes in weird shapes. Dresses, rompers, those don't all fold in a nice neat square so whenever you're moving things around, no matter how neatly you pack that stuff, the second you need to pull out an outfit it completely just explodes over the hotel room or wherever you're staying at for the holidays great for organizing. I like to put like my going out clothes in one cube, my sleeping clothes in another, and like my undergarments and my face stuff in another so that they don't mix together and I know exactly where they're gonna be. Even if it's a mess, I just talk, I like stuff it in that cube and at least when I open my luggage, it's in its little cube. Great find. Okay, all right, next is a custom dog tag from Sparkling. I got my sister uh, something from Sparkling for her birthday. I got us matching ones. I got her her nickname and I got myself my nickname that we've given each other, Sissy and Aya. Uh, and we, I love it. I wear it all the time. I'm not wearing it right now just because um, I took a shower and I took it off. So cute. Uh, you can just get the initials if you want. That will probably take a little less um, just because I think those take a little less to make in comparison to the necklaces that have like a full name on it. So these cute little dog tags are really great. Like they just, they come in a bunch of different colors, they come in different fonts, very cute. This is not something that you would give to an acquaintance. This is something that you would give to a chosen or given family member, even to a significant other, something like that. No acquaintances, even like your sort of friend circle is a little much. Okay, next is the chirp wheel. Now, I don't work out, but my boyfriend works out all the time. And even then so, I still need to stretch out my back all the time because of the weird ways that I sit, and I stand, and I sleep. And he does it because, you know, he's gotta work out certain muscles whenever he's um, worked out. Is that how that works? I don't know, I don't work out enough. <laughs> But regardless, both of us use this every single day. So useful, way better, in my opinion, than a regular foam roller, just because it's smaller, it's thinner, it gets right in, you know, where it needs to go. And with the foam roller that he had previously, I could never crack my back. I could never get into that little groove that it needs to get into. With the chirp wheel, amazing, I love it. And it's small enough that you can take the small one with you whenever you go on vacation. Uh, you don't have to take all three of them, you could just take the little small one just so you have something in your bag, but oh my gosh, when we went on uh, to visit his family, I was like, I should've brought it. And he was like, yeah, next time, we're definitely gonna do that because it's so small, it's so compact. You just never think of bringing something around like that, but it's travel efficient, and I mean, it's something that you're gonna use like every day, regardless of how, like, because we are on two sides of the spectrum. He works out literally every single day, and me, I 
literally can't remember the last time I worked with them. But yeah. All right, next is the escrow wallet. Okay, so I have been a big bag, big wallet person my whole life, it seems like, but I've wanted to go into a more sleeker, just more compact side. Um, let me get up for you guys, I think I... All right, some pros and cons of this thing. Very sleek, um, still very aesthetically pleasing, which is important to me as someone who loves fashion. Um, I have about six cards in the card holder, two, four in each of these, or four, two in each of these, and then I've got two more in the back. So I have a ton of cards and it still fits all of my cards. You press this little button on the side, boom, they all stick out and they, and you can easily use the top four or five. You can probably fit more in here if, um, you have the cards that don't have the embossed numbers. Uh, but if you do, you might, it might fit less, but I love this so much. It's so compact, it's way smaller than my cell phone, <laughs> but, um, really great. And I'm so happy I got this wallet and it's under a hundred bucks and it's so sleek. Comes in a bunch of different colors. Highly recommend it. Check it out. For those of you that have friends that are like movie buffs, Gallery 1988 is a quirky little gallery here in Los Angeles that does a lot of like pop culture and movie posters from, they have like a whole array of different artists that contribute to their gallery. I've been there a couple times, really kind of quirky, really fun. Um, I've gotten some cool prints from there. They do a lot of interesting movie prints. And here's one that I found, I'll put it up here. It's forget who the artist is I'll make sure to notate that down there but he does maps of where like the main characters go through in their journey and it's such a cute poster it, it doesn't look too pop arty it looks like an actual piece of art and I thought that was really kind of cool so depending on your friend's aesthetic like this could be a really cute addition so check it out very cool I think it's a cute gift off the bean path and still like really thoughtful all right Next is, ooh, a lush bath set. This is really kind of like a no fail gift. Um, at first, whenever I was younger, I, I would get bath sets and I'd be like, oh, do I smell or something? Why are you getting me this? But lush or even any kind of luxury bath set that you wanna give, like these are great gifts because they're kind of pricey and when they give it in the gift set, they give it at a discount and it's like lush is you know it's vegan it's organic they don't test on animals so great you just smell so good and it just feels really nice and now that i am an adult i'm like yes please get me more bath sets i mean nothing like yeah there are brands that i'm just like yeah probably not gonna use that <laughs> when it comes to like sort of the cheaper bath sets but this bath these bath sets are so nice. You can definitely find some for cheaper. This one I found was under 100 bucks. All right, next is custom portraits. Uh, Etsy is great with that. You can find any kind of aesthetic that you want for my boyfriend and I, um, actually for his birthday, I got him a, a Rick and Morty version of us. I don't. I wish I knew where that was right now. Like I mentioned before, I'm in the process, or I just moved into this place, so everything that I own is in boxes right now, so it's hard for me to kind of like dig it up, but maybe I'll look for it in my emails and show it to you here. But this is a really cute gift. This is something I would say would be more so for closer, like chosen uh, given family members or even significant others. This is a little too much, a little too above and beyond for like, you know, an acquaintance or just like, you know, your everyday sort of friend. But such a fun gift and I got him a bunch of things and this was like the one thing that he like, is like, if you just got me this, I would have been happy. I didn't need any of that other stuff. Like he definitely appreciated it and like, 
still like loved and kept everything else I gave him, but that was like for him, he was just like, this is it, this is the gift. And I'm like, ah, I'm so glad he appreciated it. But you can get some in like just regular like watercolor or um, I've seen the Simpsons one, that one's also really popular. I've seen a Bob's Burgers one, that one's also really popular. So yeah, you can get it in any kind of like aesthetic or cartoon type and they're just really cute. And they don't, a lot of them don't cost a ton. I think the one that I bought was, um, I want to say it was over a hundred bucks just because I did a lot of modifications to it, but it wasn't that much over a hundred bucks, maybe 120 or something like that, but such a fun gift. Now, depending on where you live, this is, this could be a really nice gift, uh, CBD oil. Now, I started using it for cramps and you can kind of use it for anything. Like, I don't really use it recreationally. This is pure CBD, um, it has no THC in it. I, I don't, I can't find the one that I have, but I've heard this other brand. Like, the, the bottle that I have, like the, the packaging has just been sort of um, rubbed off, so I can't see the brand, but, and, and the store closed. It's like online only now. <sighs> I know. But if you get just the CBD, no THC or anything, like you're not gonna feel weird, you're not gonna get like a high or anything like that. It's really just like, it relaxes you and just it's kind, it works as kind of a pain reliever. I use it when I get headaches, I use it when I get like muscle aches and especially, yes I mentioned before, during that time of the month, I can go through half a bottle of Midol during that time of month because of how intense they can get, my cramps can get, and this has been such a lifesaver. So this is great for men, this is great for women, this is great for anybody. Um, I know a lot of people use it for a lot of different things and it's just, ugh, amazing. And if you're, you know, if you have trouble sleeping, that, that helps with that too. There, is there anything that CBD can't do? I don't know. But, this is on the pricier side. Usually some very nice quality CBD oil that comes in a little tincture is usually about around 100 bucks. So, I mean, you obviously want to use it sparingly. And like I mentioned, the one that I use per se is not, it's more, it's not really a recreational one. There's no THC in it, so I don't get like a funny little head eye. It's literally just kind of a pain relief. Really if you don't want to go with that route, the, I'm not sure. Dodow? Dodow Sleep Aid? This is a great find. It's about 60 bucks. It's like a little light thing. It kind of, I don't want to say it just has to do. It just like trains your brain to like relax and fall asleep. It's like this light thing that you kind of follow. Or, or if you're worried about getting dependent on like sleep aids, like CBD, or even um, like the cloudy melatonin diffuser pens. Um, if you if you would like an alternative to um, the diffuser pens or the CBD to help fall asleep, this is a great alternative, uh, and it's only sixty dollars. Okay, next is a sanitizing charging station. This is eighty dollars on Amazon. Like I said, another kind of like mini splurge. Especially with you know COVID just kind of like skyrocketing and never really plateauing here in the US. You can never be too careful and this is a great thing to just kind of like toss your keys and your cell phone in every day whenever you get home from work because let's face it, how often do we clean that stuff, right? I think whenever quarantine hit, I was really, really good about when I came home, immediately wash my hands, take off my mask, hand wash it and hang it up to dry and then like take a sanitizing wipe and wipe my phone, wipe my keys, wipe my sunglasses. But now I'm like, I still try, but I, I guarantee you I'm not nearly as, as dedicated to that routine as I once was. So having like a little sanitizing charging station would just make your life a little easier. All right, next is an air fryer. Uh, for the cooks in your life that like to entertain and just like to, you know, try something new and or just try and eat healthier, this is a great gift. I love to cook and I wish I had healthier recipes and I just don't. I, 
Not to say that I like coat everything in butter or whatever. I have a lot of like really fantastic vegan recipes, really good like vegetarian recipes. But even like when you look at them, there's just so much going on that you're like, is that healthy? You know? But God, is it so hard to be that healthy? And I think every little bit counts. So air frying. Like, I'm never gonna feel guilty about ordering fries. I'm always gonna order them. Sure, every once in a while, I'll be like, you know what, give me a salad. I deserve a prize for that. But, <laughs> but I, there are times when I do wanna order fries and I just like, I want a prize for that too. <laughs> so get an air fryer. It'll make you feel a little less guilty for ordering those fries. Okay, this was a fun one. Now, this is a pair of wine glasses. This is for the wine lover in your life. And they have lines on the glass so you can drink down and um, those would be the notes on the scale. When you like, you know, kind of like wet your finger and like run it along the rim of the glass and make that like noise. I thought that was so cool. Quirky gift, fun, good idea. All right, moving on. Ah, for the other wine lover in your life. <laughs> the Secret Wine Bag. This is about $75. They do have cheaper versions, but this is the version that I like, so I'm gonna put it on here. And uh, this is for the sneaky, sneaky wine lovers of your life, or even just like any kind of drink you can kind of sneak in there. But these are great for going out to the park, going to a picnic, Maybe going to a place where they don't let you bring your own drinks. <laughs> I mean, who wants to spend $12 on a drink? You got a bag full of it in your bag. <laughs> but I thought that was a fun gift. Okay, so next in the under $100 range is this La Mer set. Now, skincare is something that I feel like a lot of people don't invest in. I have been wearing skincare for a very long time. Um, my crazy tiger mom has had me wearing moisturizer since I was like 13, which is both good and also scar. <laughs> there are a lot of my friends that are like, you look so good, you, you know, you look so refreshed. What do you wear? Do you wear moisturizer? And I'm like, oh my God, yes, baby girl, yes. Every single day of my life, like I bathe in it. What do you do? And they're like, I don't know, I just wash my face with bar soap. And I'm like, <gasps> how are you not a raisin right now? <laughs> I feel like guys are the last ones to get this memo. And yeah, I don't know. Honestly, once I introduced my boyfriend to skincare, he started using mine. So I was like, you know what? I should get him some of his. So we would get like bigger versions of like the stuff that I get, or like I would give him his own version so that he, you know, can go through it and not completely use up all of mine. <laughs> so give the gift, it keeps on giving up. Skincare. And sunscreen, get something with sunscreen. Everyone should be wearing sunscreen every day. Next is, oh, this was a fun gift that I gave this year, actually. This is an inflatable lounger uh, for the outdoors. It's a cool little light roll up bag and you just kind of fling it open and uh, I'm trying to put the video up here because I know I'm not explaining it very well. <laughs> you get wind in it and you close it up and it pops up to this giant sort of like tube and you or more people can kind of lounge on it and it's great for you know people that are outdoorsy that people like to camp or you could bring it to maybe a concert or something an outdoor concert and just hang out and sit on it. Um, you know, if you like to hike, if you like to uh, hang out at the park and have picnics. I have a lot of picnics. Picnics are my life. Um, I haven't had as many living in Los Angeles just because there's uh, there's not enough clean parks in Los Angeles. But in, in New York, it was definitely one of my favorite pastimes. So just relax, lay down, have a drink, have a cheese plate, and feed the ducks. Uh, this is sort of a quirky gift. Um, I've never given this as a gift. I just bought it for myself. But because my boyfriend is kind of an extrovert and he loves entertaining, he brings people over to our place all the time. And I have gotten so many compliments 
on this, and these are cat oven mitts. Let me show you. How cute are these? Not I didn't get compliments from girls. They were mostly from guys. They were like, whoa, these are so cool. And I'm like, right? You should get some. Look, there's like a little, little mouse in them. A little mouse with cheese. But if you know someone that bakes, cooks, or, you know, loves to be in the kitchen, or just loves cats, get them these bad boys. These are great. I mean, look at them. I might wear them for the whole rest of the video. I can't because I am on my laptop, but great buy. <laughs> and last in the $100 category is one of those uh, desks. A laptop stand. Why am I totally blanking on one? A laptop stand. Okay, um, I got this at the beginning of quarantine uh, whenever we were supposed to just all stay home and none of us could go to the office and I did not have a desk. I just kind of sat on the couch and had, you know, my laptop on my lap with a pillow underneath it and yeah, it was not as comfortable and I, oh my god, my back would hurt so much spending like eight straight hours kind of like, like that and I love this thing so much. I've got to find it somewhere. I. Don't know where it is, I think it's in a box, but adjustable, every time I left the house, my boyfriend was using it, so maybe I'll get him one for Christmas, who knows, but such a useful gift. If you don't have an office, or even if you do have an office, and you just like to move around, or like like to use your laptop in bed, or your you know iPad, or whatever, so useful for it. So, 45, is it 45? I think it's a little over 50 bucks, which is why it was under the, under the, under hundred dollar category. Very useful for anyone and everyone, especially people that are constantly on their laptops. I would highly recommend. All right, we're gonna get into the higher end of things. We're in the under $150 category. And this is, the first one is the Ridge Wallet. I got this from my boyfriend uh, around last Christmas, I believe. Was it? Did we do anything? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was last Christmas. But anyways, his wallet had given up on him. So I decided to get him this. It's very sturdy. Um, there's no way that he can break this wallet. And it's very compact and that's definitely something that was concerning to him. He didn't want one of those trifle wallets and he's just not like, he's kind of rough on things. He's like not the type of guy that has like, designer weekender bags or like, you know what I mean? Like he, he doesn't have all of the designer leather around him. Um, he is just like kind of rough and tough with like his stuff. So I didn't want to get him anything that he would have to like tiptoe around or be scared to use. Cause he's like scared of, you know, hurting it. <laughs> so this was a great thing. And he bought one for his friend as well for a wedding gift and he uses it every day. So. Great gift for men, um, or for anyone, really. If they like that aesthetic, it comes in, you know, styles that are a little bit more designer, and um, those are a little bit more expensive, and then you got the ones in the $100 range and a little under $100, but all super sturdy, like you could run over this thing, great wallet. All right, moving on, um, when you become an adult, I think, the one thing that kind of freaks me out is how many subscription services I have. Just like a monthly bill, and then on top of that, you're adding another monthly thing. I have Netflix, I have Hulu, I have Prime, and I have uh, Disney Plus, yeah, and YouTube TV, that's a lot, you know? So, but one thing that I use so much is my Prime membership. I order things for myself and I order things for the office on a daily basis and having that, you know, expedited shipping really comes in handy. I love having access to free videos on Prime. You, you just have access to so much stuff. It's so useful. So out of all of my subscriptions, I would probably rank Prime the highest. So if you have a loved one that doesn't have Prime, 
this could make their life a whole lot easier. All right, next are custom pet pillows. This is for the animal lover of your life. This is really cute. You're gonna have to try and sneak a photo of their pet, which should be pretty easy. I feel like a lot of pet lovers have photos plastered all over their social media. So just go snag one from their Instagram or, or Facebook or something. This is about $145. Let me tell you, like it's so adorable. I, well, I have puppy fever so bad. So I want one of these and I don't even have a dog. <laughs> but like such a cute find. It's very quirky, so it's not gonna be for everyone, but you know, for the pet lover in your life, it's my favorite. All right, next is, oh, a portable LCD mini projector. This looks really fun. It's compact, it's wireless. You can kind of make movie night into something bigger. You can make game night into something bigger or even like fight night. Uh, my boyfriend throws a fight night party every fight night, or he used to before quarantine. And it was something that all of his friends looked forward to because I would cook a ton of food and they would eat, and drink, and watch the fight. And it was always such a good time. Uh, for everyone to get together. Cooler to have it on a bigger screen and a mini projector can take that night up a notch. And it's also really fun to just have an over-the-top movie night, especially since like the movie theaters are closed right now. This would be a fun idea to have like sort of a date night inside. Make use of popcorn, turn off all the lights, turn off your cell phones, no commercials, and just have like a fun movie night. All right, next, this is a cold brew maker but it's a more expensive cold brew maker. The first one I showed you was under 20 bucks. This one is about 100. This is a fancy one. Um, this is like if you eat, drink, and sleep cold brew. And I feel like people that drink cold brew are very eat, drink, and sleep cold brew. <laughs> you either have it daily or you have more than one or you you know, live in a household where like people are always just kind of skimming off the top of your cold brew. So this is for bigger families or just like extreme avid cold brew drinkers, but great time. All right, next we're getting into the fancy pants ones. These are under $200. Um, and this is the first one, one that I wanted, the Audible membership for um, audiobooks. I don't have a ton of time to sit and read a book but I need a little stimulation in the office or even just like when I'm editing on for my YouTube channel. Like I'll need something in the background. And I used to like turn on music, but I've kind of swayed away from that and started listening to podcasts. And then I started listening to audiobooks and I just really found, you know, audiobooks like really interesting because eventually like some of the podcasts I'll get kind of tired of as well. So I like to kind of rotate what I listen to whenever I'm kind of projecting for certain hours on end so I don't exhaust that too much and hear like, you know, <laughs> six straight hours of the same thing. And yes, that's probably one membership where I'm always like, I have so many, I draw the line here. I'm not getting an Audible membership. But if someone was to gift it to me, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> All right, next is a ring alarm security system. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's kind of a weird gift, but if your friends or family don't have something like this, it is so very useful. Um, you know, it shows videos of who comes up to your door, uh, especially if you are not at home, if you're someone like me who actually does have to go to the office now, um, this could be a good gift for you. Um, you know, so you can see who goes in and out of your door. We've had some instances, not in this building because we just moved here, but in our previous building where there were people coming up to our doors um, that weren't supposed to be there. And it's just kind of nice to know, especially if my boyfriend is out and it's just myself. I don't want to answer the door if it's like a stranger. So give your family some peace of mind. Um, this is something I would I would like give to my sister as well. She's kind of a nervous Nelly. She like worries a lot. And you know, just to give her some peace of mind that like where she's at, where she's living, she's gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, next is Beats Noise Canceling Headphones. Now these are originally $349 and they are on sale for $175. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but this is what I've seen online. So yeah, go get those. I need these, just for general life. 
For someone who's like an introvert, I definitely like to have my me time. It's how I recharge. It's how I like am able to have engaging social interactions. If I don't get my me time, I cannot engage with people. That's just how I am. So I am more willing to socialize and you know hang out with extroverts if I get to recharge. And it doesn't mean just like being in a dark room and like having no one around me. Like sometimes it means just zoning out and like even for an hour or two, even at work, like I will just put those on and just be like, you know what? I am just gonna get through this paperwork. No one talk to me. Be alone. <laughs> I mean, people are, are pretty good at my office. For the most part, they keep to themselves. They're not on me all the time. But you know, everyone has those days where they're just like, there's no time. <laughs> all right, next is the DNA testing kit. Now, there's a couple out there, um, but I have always wanted to try one of these. I'm gonna link the one that I'm interested in right here. Um, it not only goes into your ancestry, but it goes into like your health and, and like where your body's at. And you know, I've always wanted to see like all of that stuff. Like I, I would love to know how to make me a better me, how if I'm eating the way I should eat, if there's things that I should know that would make my day-to-day -day life easier, yes, I would love to learn more about myself. I'm just naturally curious like that, like I, the more I can know about myself, the better. So yeah, I always thought that that was a fun gift. Ooh, okay, this is another one that I really love. Soda Stream. I go through an entire bottle of Soda Stream daily. Now, it helps me drink water more, I don't know what it is, these bubbles, just make it fancier than water. It just tastes different, it does. I don't know how to explain it. You LaCroix and Perrier drinkers, you know, would understand that. But also, just getting like, getting a ton of LaCroix or, or Perrier is an expensive habit. And Soda Stream is a lot cheaper. So that I would highly recommend. We use ours so much we probably go through several of those like co2 chambers we go through so many of those refills and i highly highly recommend it you're going to use a ton and it'll help you drink water more all right next is ugh, oh my god okay these are for like the coffee enthusiasts for sure i don't know if you could tell but that's me i love coffee uh nitro coffee brewing kit have you ever had nitro coffee it's like drinking velvet it's amazing um, and if you have someone in your life who has the coffee brew maker and the French press and like the Breville espresso maker thing and you're like this person is good what could I possibly give them you could give them the gift of nitro coffee because it's like drinking velvet it's amazing okay last in this category this was something that I thought would be really cute for like something that you could give to like your mom or um, that parental unit role for you, your your nanny, your whoever, your grandmother, or even just your best fucking friend, you know? These are long distance friendship frames. You get two for about uh, $198 for the pack and I'll put them over here. When you touch yours, your friends, or whoever you give that other frame to, lights up to be like, hey, I'm thinking about you. Call me. I thought that was so cute. I mean, it's a way to like text your friend or text your mom without saying anything. And you know, if you're tired and you don't wanna talk, but you wanna show them that you care and that you're thinking of them, just a little tap tap on that thing. It's like a nice gesture. All right, now we're getting to the gifts over $200. These are the fancy gifts. Uh, first, this is, I guess, mainly for me, <laughs> but anyone in your life that loves to do their hair or is a hairdresser or that, you know, just loves to get done up, uh, the Dyson hair dryer. It's like a three, four hundred dollar hair dryer. Insane, but also amazing. And it's something that, like I said, no one really would spend that much on themselves, but as a gift, they're like, yes, I would 
to use this all the time, every day. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know everyone loves La Mer, but I am an Amore Pacific gal. I used to use this um, whenever I worked in Bloomingdale's, and I had, a, a, that's when I was working in for some shopper, and I had a discount, and now I can't really afford them. But their moisturizing cream is like $450. But when I tell you that you will wake up a new person, yeah, it's amazing. Forget getting work done. Get you a tub of this and you're good. After I started using this, I was working in a hospital where they were giving, you know, to friends and families like free Botox. You know, the residents get to practice and, and, and you get free Botox. And I'm like, who doesn't want free Botox? And everyone was like, why are you getting free Botox? And I was like, cause I was one of the younger people in the group. And I was like, first of all, you and I both know, you work here, so you should know that you it's preventative, okay? I want to keep looking like this and it's free. Why would I turn it down? Obviously the attending is there washing over the residents. and they give me my free Botox. They will look at me and be like, you don't even make free Botox. And I'm like, thank you, thank you. It's my new moisturizer. I was like, oh, I have a very animated face. Like when it's resting, it's just like, super bitchy, but as soon as I start talking, my face just wants to move everything independently. <laughs> and yes, I do, in fact, create a lot of wrinkles, but wearing that moisturizer is just, it's like, no, no you don't. Shh, 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 wrinkles. Not today. It's amazing. Oh, this was interesting. Uh, a Theragut. So my sister got this for her boyfriend and they rave about it all the time. I've seen so many ads about this. These are for acute massagers, especially for the people that work out a ton in your life. Not me, probably something I would get for my boyfriend. It is a little bit on the pricier side. It is in the above $200 range. It's $349. So this is something that like, if they are an athlete, you know, they would get a lot of use of it. They work out like maybe once a week. Maybe not. Stick to like a trip wheel. That's something that anyone, everyone can use every single day regardless of how athletic they are. But this is something for the everyday workout person. <laughs> oh, this is like a little home studio. Again, we're talking about the pricier side of things. This is a great starter kit for someone who loves music and would like to practice more at home. Um, I got this for my boyfriend on his birthday. He loves it. He records things all the time. It comes with like a stand, a little soundproof sort of wall, and it comes with like a microphone and this little box thing. <laughs> I'm not really explaining this very well. And anyway, he records songs whenever he's at home and he's just practicing and like really sort of develop his ear. And he, he said that it's made him such a better musician and a singer because you know you can practice daily and if you're just like listening to it as is there's a lot of things that you're not catching because you're too busy actually singing or playing an instrument but if you can like record it in a really high quality you know way and not just like on your phone you could really objectively like listen back to it later and be like oh you know what I was a little high here or a little flat there um, and just kind of you know, fine tune your craft. And it's a lot of bang for your buck. He loves it and I've seen a lot of really great reviews and I don't think you need the, the most expensive like equipment, especially if you're, if this is just a hobby, like if you're not putting out a ton of music, like and, it, and you're kind of just practicing it for yourself, like this is a great beginner kit to have. All right, next is a smartwatch. The Samsung one, which is one that I would get for myself because I have a Galaxy 20, is $250 and the Apple one is $399. Always a great gift for the person that has everything. Okay, next, oh, this was nice. I don't have a ton of things that you could give to your boss, but this is one thing that I think would be appropriate is a decanter set. A lot of places advise you not to give your your boss a gift just because it's they don't want it to seem like you know you're bribing them for like a raise or anything like that. 
So nothing expensive, and besides, they make way more than you do, so what are you gonna get them? Like, I like to stick with like a bottle of wine, a bottle of booze, or a decanter set is probably like the next thing um, that you can get them. But even then, like that might not even be really their aesthetic. And I know my boss was gifted a decanter set for Christmas, and he actually gave it to me. So. <laughs> So it's sort of a hit and miss sort of situation, but it's a very nice gesture. Okay, and last on the fancy pants list is a GoPro. These are not just for like athletic people that are like out there snowboarding or making movies or whatever. Like I've used it for just like, you know, um, my YouTube and for vacations. And uh, I really liked it. And I think it's like a fun little thing to have. And it, you know, it's better than using like my phone or like having a big camera set. Like it's kind of a fun gadget and it's definitely a splurge to give. And it's something that like not everyone thinks to get themselves. So I think it's a great gift. All right, I hope you guys liked this video. Tell me what your favorite gift ideas were and tell me if you have additional ones to add to the list. I'm doing one next week of like all the quirky things that I want. They're not all quirky, they're just like very weirdly specific to me. <laughs> so if you have someone in your life who's kind of hard to shop for, maybe look at my list, see if they like anything there. Now, I do have to warn you, my list is kind of aspirational, so it's a little bit more expensive. It's kind of just like, oh, if money was no object, I would totally buy myself this. Yeah, I hope you guys have fun at Christmas shopping or holiday shopping this time of year. I hope you stay safe. And you know, because of COVID, there are a ton of sales happening, so you don't even have to wait until Black Friday. You can start shopping now, especially with all the sales going on. So happy holidays, be safe, and happy hunting, everyone. All right, see you next time. Bye.